you have to take this number here. Inspectors from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe check Ukrainian government rocket launchers being withdrawn from the front lines. 80 kilometers to the south, another team monitors the withdrawal of rebel tanks. But these are not necessarily the rebels' best weapons. The most modern items, apparently sent from Russia, are few in number but potentially significant, says Nick Jensen Jones, director of the consulting firm Armament Research Services, who spoke via Skype. Some of the larger systems, even in the small numbers documented since we released the report, could prove, uh, if not decisive, then certainly influential. His firm's report says experts have misidentified weapons on both sides, but it confirms the rebels have weapons they could not have gotten from within Ukraine, as they claim. These range from modern rifles to new Russian battle tanks, including this one the Ukrainian government says its troops destroyed. On Wednesday, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Russian supplies continue to flow. We uh, have seen... Uh, and still see uh, uh, Russian presence and strong support for the separatists in uh, eastern Ukraine. Uh, we see uh, uh, the delivery of equipment, uh, forces, training. Stoltenberg also said he regretted Russia's decision to withdraw from consultations based on the Treaty on Conventional Forces in Europe, a post-Cold War agreement. That accord has not stopped Russia from supplying sophisticated weapons to the rebels, says Joseph Dempsey of the International Institute for Strategic Studies. We've seen types of equipment, particularly armored vehicles, including main battle tanks, that uh, were never exported to Ukraine. So there's no other logical reason to believe they would be in the country other than through an external supply, namely Russia. These are quite advanced systems and would require a, you know, a good degree of experience and expertise uh, in order to use them effectively. He says that means either Russian troops or Russian training. Concerns about Russian weapons in eastern Ukraine and the potential for further Western military supplies to the Ukrainian government have eased somewhat because of the ceasefire. But if hostilities resume, the experts say the Ukrainians may need radar systems, anti-tank weapons and other modern systems. But they also note Russia could counter any Western aid, potentially leading to an even deadlier conflict. Al Pesson, VOA News, London.